All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. We're going to be talking about the Lake City fiasco and the attempt to just, well, if they can't ban guns, they're going to ban the ammo. Uh, anyway, before we do that, here's a word from our sponsor. If you remember a couple days ago, we were talking about the Philadelphia mayor saying that the guy who defended himself with a handgun needed to be arrested. Well, <laughs> it's moments just like these where you need a U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Guys, these guys help responsible Americans like you prepare for what happens before, during, and after an act of lawful self-defense. The USCCA members get life-saving education, expert training, plus self-defense liability insurance. These benefits provide more than 500,000 USCCA members with the peace of mind they deserve. Plus, the USCCA membership is always risk-free with their 100% money-back guarantee. <sighs> membership is truly an investment worth exploring. Click learn more below right now to activate your U.S. Concealed Carry Association membership. All right, guys, we're back. Listen, I want to preempt this whole video of talking about the Lake City thing. Uh, it is the talk of the town, okay? They've tried it before. It failed it with the M855, okay? Uh, the green tips. You remember back about five, six, seven years ago when Obama was in office, they tried to do this thing thinking that the steel tips Oh, steel penetrators were some kind of evil thing. Well, of course, well, you know, of course, Obama, uh, Biden, Biden has started talking about nine millimeter exploding lungs and all this other kind of stuff. That's hilarious. If they can't do anything legally, they just start with their lies. But before we do this, I want to talk about what I read on an NBC uh, article a few minutes ago talking about the Murphy uh, Cornyn deal. And it's interesting because they were concentrating on what it wouldn't do. Okay, versus what they're going to do. The big deal is the red flag law. And, of course, we know that that uh, takes away from our rights. Okay, um, Anyway, the deal would not ban or confiscate any of the hundreds of millions of guns in circulation. Try banning and try confiscating. That'll be a hilarious thing. This is not Canada, NBC. It would not outlaw the sale or ownership of semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15, which was used by blah, blah, blah. Okay? They always have to go back. They have to create a picture, this image, this evil thing. What people don't understand is this a, basically a semi-automatic rifle. And it's just like any other semi-automatic rifle. I had a friend of mine, well, they need to ban those things. I was like, okay, so if they're going to ban those, you need to go ahead and ban everything that is a semi-automatic, and that's just not possible. It would not prohibit high-capacity magazines. You mean the feeding boxes, anything else? The funny thing is, I was watching John Crump a few minutes ago, okay, because he did a great video on this whole subject. And I'm going to kind of preface some of the things that he said, but we're going to talk about them a little bit differently. I like to try to give my point of view. But the idea is that these feeding boxes are the most common feeding boxes in the world. And say, for instance, the way uh, YouTube does it is you're not a, you can't actually show a 30-round magazine now if you're out on the range and having fun. You have to use a 20-round magazine because it's a magazine of 30 rounds or more. So the max capacity of a standard magazine is 30 rounds. Also, it would not, unlike a recent House bill, raise the age to buy a semi-automatic weapon to 21. They're just pushing it too far. It's just like anything else the, that these guys are doing. Their agenda, their Green New Deal. Most of the people who are forcing this Green New Deal down our throats and they're eliminating any of the fossil fuel industry, they don't even own cars. So it's no big deal to them. But what they don't realize is that, one, trucks move on fuel. Uh, farmers need fuel. So what do you do? Oh, my God, we forgot about that. We were thinking just cars. Now, all of a sudden, food costs twice as much. Gas talk costs three times as much. So really, stick your foot in the mouth and figure out how to resolve it. But they don't want to resolve it. They just want to keep pushing for the Green New Deal. It would not, unlike a bill passed by House Democrats, mandate universal background checks. All right, so anyway, let's get on to it. So uh, we we're talking about the green tip, uh, except now they want to do the M109. All right, so Lake City, I guess they have a tremendous contract with the guys in the U.S. government. So essentially what's happening now, uh, and I do uh, agree with John Crump, somebody asked me last night, who is actually running the government? It's Susan Rice. Susan Rice and Obama administration, all those guys are stepping in. They are actually the ones gr running the country because the jackass now that's up there, he's not a true president. He's a puppet. I, I pity him. I really do. I think he's the most ignorant dumbass that ever walked the face of the earth and now even on cnn they're talking about how his approval rating is lower than jimmy carter's 
And the issue that I have with this jackass right now is he's not doing anything to prevent what is getting ready to happen with a sinking ship. It's unreal. So basically, if you remember about six or seven years ago, the Obama, Obama administration went ahead and they were trying to go ahead and ban the 855. It, it failed miserably, okay? But what they're doing also now is they're trying to strong arm this one company into saying, we want to, uh, we will not buy or we're going to strong arm you into uh, banning the sale to private citizens or, you know, um, corporate America. What that's going to do is it's going to eliminate 30% of the market and therefore increasing the value. If you remember a long time ago, again, we're talking about the green tips, uh, the price went up because everybody and their mother was buying the shit out of it. And it's going to, what it's going to do is going to create a scare and everybody's doing it. This is a perfect time, ladies and gentlemen, for you to have all your brass, all your primers, all your uh, powders ready to go so that you can hand load all your own ammo. But it sucks that these guys are trying to do this. And again, like I said, they're no stranger to uh, coercion. Uh, RICO, they should be brought up on RICO charges because what they're doing is a strong arming an organization or a company to follow through and making it more difficult for you to buy ammunition, which is in by part protected by our Second Amendment. Whew. Don't get me started, folks. But anyway, it's pretty sick. I don't think it's going to move forward. Uh, if they do, it's kind of a scary thing that the, this, this country, the administration right now, can go ahead and kill an industry the way they are in order to push their agenda. That's the scary part. Tyranny at its best. All right, guys, in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. But you got a government that is behind the scenes trying to screw its own citizens, no matter what it takes, okay? Years ago, they found out that ammunition is part of our Second Amendment. But what happens is you get a government that can strong arm one company that provides 33% of the ammo. By the way, it's all dented ammo. It's the stuff that didn't pass muster. Well, anyway, the big thing is, yeah, how is this possible? With that being said, guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. It's disgusting. It, will it pass? I don't know. We, can it do this? Who knows? <sighs> With that... If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. KB32, I am out of here. Boom.